Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. My name is Amber. If you're new, welcome to Cozy Nature Reads. Um, I am really enjoying doing vlogs lately. I don't know. It's something about them that's just like really hitting for me. Maybe it's the editing process. Maybe it's the filming process. Maybe it's because I finally feel comfortable in doing YouTube and Instagram and whatever after five years. Who knows? Who knows? But this week, I'm hoping to get a lot of reading done. We only have like two weeks left in the month and I want to I wanna get in some of those big chunkers I said I was going to read this month. Which, if you notice, I don't do TBRs because I can never ever stick to them. I'm a mood reader, so I can say I'm reading these five books and I only read three of them, or I say I'm going to read five books, and then, like, those get thrown out the window, and I have five new books by the end of the month. But I do plan to do a wrap-up this month, so look out for that. <laughs> okay, so that's off. Let's move over to now what I plan so to read this starting week. with my current read, it is Hurricane Summer by Asha Bromfield. This follows um, a girl named Tilla, and her and her little sister Mia has moved for the summer with their dad in Jamaica, and it's just like a big old cultural, cultural splash for her. Um, she has a lot of accustoming, to, accustoming, to, accustoming, acclimating, acclimating. She has a lot of acclimating to do. Excuse the blue tinge that you see. I had some blue takis. And then I decided to vlog and I should have did it beforehand. But I'm sorry if that's annoying. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, okay, so Tilla and Mia, they moved to Jamaica with their dad. Now her mom and her dad got divorced a couple years beforehand. They fought a lot. And so he moved back to Jamaica. They originally did in Canada. So for the summer, the mom decides, you're going to go live with your dad. You know, you guys are not really close. So it's time for y'all to like form a relationship. Since he's been gone, the relationship has been kind of stagnant. So, Tilla gets there, and she meets her whole family, like, all her family lives together. Um, it's, this book really is a lot. I notice I read a lot of hard-hitting books, but Tilla is going through a lot of, phys not physical abuse, but, um, excuse me, she's going through a lot of, uh, emotional abuse with one of her aunts, who I really want to square up with. Her auntie, okay, so for example, I'm like probably all over the place with this plot, but I'm just going to give you an example of what Tilla has been going through. Um, for example, one day, like a couple of days after her and Mia gets there, they're jet lagged or whatever, so they woke up late. And everybody in the house wakes up at the crack of dawn when the roosters go off, and she wakes up in like 12 afternoon. And everyone's like, why are you getting up so late? You're supposed to be up doing this, that, and the third. One time, her auntie came in at 3 in the morning to clean. To clean. The room. While they were sleeping. Like, this aunt, her aunt Herma, gets on my last nerves. I cannot stand her. Um, other things that Tilla has been going through is she's meeting this boy named... Not meeting, but she's talking to this guy named Hermes. Um... So she's like trying to find love. She's trying to be accepted with her new family and her newfound friends. And she doesn't feel accepted, even by her dad. Like, even by her dad. It's just a lot. I'll explain more when I get done with it or in my wrap up. But that is the arc. It comes out May 4th. And I am trying to hurry up and finish it this week. The next book that I want to read this week is I was supposed to read this back in January. Because it was in my January TBR. And I'm like, I'm going to read this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haven't got to it. But it is The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I have not read the Chris, a Kristen Hanna book since last February slash March. I read The Great Alone last year. Absolutely adored it. And I have three other books by Kristen Hanna. I mean, two other books by Kristen Hanna on my shelf. And I hear this is another good one. So I said, I'm going to read it this month. I'm at least going to start it. I'm not going to read it this week. I'm not going to finish it this month. I'm at least going to start it. That's the plan. That is the plan. Now, the next book I'm excited. I'm excited to read because we, not we, um, Mel Reads. Well, I don't know if this is an official read along, but one day on Mel's over at Mel Reads Sprint. 
one of her life's friends, she was talking about how she wanted to reread Lady Midnight, and everybody was like, I want to reread The Dark Artifices too, and now I was like, oh yeah, I'm jumping in there because I need to finish The Dark Artifices, and I read Lady Midnight last year, but I don't remember nothing about it, so I was like, yeah, I'm gonna jump in there too, and like, it was a whole bunch of people that said they wanted to read it, but I don't know if this is an official read-along, but Lady Midnight, I want to read this. And they said they were going to start this today. Today is Monday. And they're going to try and finish it before the 24-hour readathon. That is Saturday. So, I'm going to start this today. Pray for me. Pray. This is like a 600-page brick. Let, let's be specific. This is a... This is a 668 brick page break. Lady Midnight. This is the first book in the Dark Artifices series. It follows Julian Blackthorn and Emma and Emma. I forget her last name, honestly. Is it Emma Carstairs? Yes, Emma Carstairs. And Julian Blackthorn. And when I just read last week not last week, a couple weeks ago, City of Heavenly Fire and I was really excited to read Lady Midnight and then I just started watching nine one one for like two weeks straight and has not been back to any fantasy for real this month. So, Lady Midnight. That's what I plan to read this month. This week, hopefully. And then the next one, I started. I annotated some. Well, not. I haven't put my tag in where I annotated that. But, Queen of Shadows. I want to read this. I want to finish it. So I can move on in my read along that I'm doing. Read a, read a thon. That I'm doing by myself. Because there is a thorn of glass, like, read-along going on. But I'm not a part of it. But, this is my favorite book out of the series. And I'm so freaking... I'm so scared to read this book. Because the first time I read it, I absolutely loved it. And I'm only on chapter... I am on chapter 5. I am nowhere into this book. Absolutely nowhere. So, yeah. These are the physical books I plan to read. Also, you guys. So, there's a release tomorrow that I'm highly, highly excited for. And it is Witches, Thief, and Gold by Shannon Smart. Do y'all see this cover? As soon as I seen this, when this cover got released... I was like, I immediately, I need to read that. I tried to get this book in art form three freaking times. I asked Ottawa's, I asked Nat Galley, and I emailed the publisher, and they all denied me. But I'm number two on Libby, and as soon as it drops tomorrow, I'm reading that. And I can't mother freaking wait. So that's all the books that I plan to read this week. I'm hoping I can at least make some leeway through something. Through something. It looks like it wants to rain right now. Hopefully it doesn't rain because I have to take the trash out. But yeah. That is the intro to this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And leave... Leave this emoji. So yeah. I, I'm going to go finish watching Books and Lala's video, because that's what I was doing before I decided to make an intro again. So yeah, this is going on almost a 10 minute clip, and I will see you guys in an update.
Taylor, that's why she acting like that she's jealous of you. I am now 81% consistent with the book. I have an hour left in this book. And I'm going to finish it. I'm going to finish it. I'm upset. I'm upset because if y'all don't, if I didn't say I was reading Hurricane Summer, and Tilla just went through a whole bunch of crap in the past, like, five chapters. There's a trigger warning for rape in this book. Um, physical abuse. Emotional abuse. Verbal abuse. Her family is why, yo, they sit up here talking about her, calling her all types of names. Her supposed to be cousin, sitting up here feeding her aunt's information about her, telling her that like, she be out here with all the boys and she's having sex and just giving them wrong information. Oh, it's a lot. Oh, this book is getting me heated. This book is making me mad. And then her dad, on the other hand, got a is wilding out too. Like I need for I need for Tilla to leave Jamaica. I need her to go back to Canada with her mother. Because the longer she stays in Jamaica, the longer stuff is gonna keep happening. And there's a hurricane coming in this book and I'm scared for everybody. I'm scared for the hurricane. I'm scared for the drama that's unfolding. I will update when I finish this book. But for now, I have to go do my motherly duties. <laughs>you guys so we just dipped it gold came out today we just dipped it gold i cannot wait i'm waiting for my kindle to charge so that i can read it both of my kindles are like dead i had to stop reading hurricane summer because it was like you have 10 percent remaining so i have to put both of my kindles on a charger but as soon as they charge i'm reading we just dipped in gold today and i cannot wait i cannot wait i've been waiting for this book since like November, whenever I've seen the cover for it, that's how long I've been waiting for it. And it's here, and I can't wait. So, Hurricane Summer and We Just Deep in Gold is my books today that I'm reading and finishing. I don't know if I'm going to finish We Just Deep in Gold, but I'm definitely going to try and read a lot of it today. I'm so excited. But for right now, I'm about to relax. I'm going to find me some breakfast, and I'm going to watch some booktube. So, I will update later when I'm reading. So today is Thursday, April 22nd, and I just seen yesterday, I didn't do an ounce of reading yesterday, I tried to read Witches to Thin Gold, Witches, why do I keep wanting to say Witches, Witches Steeped in Gold, but um, I'm having a hard time getting into the story, like like, literally, the first three chapters, I've been scratching my head, like, what the heck did I just read? And I'm very sad because I didn't did it, like, twice already. And I really want to love this book, and everybody loves this book. And, yeah, so that's where I'm at with that. I finished Hurricane Season on Tuesday, and I absolutely loved it. I gave it five stars. I'll leave my review for it down below, but it was really, really good. Oh, my God, it was so freaking good. Trigger, uh, I, I just do um, what it's about and all that in my wrap-up. But five stars for that. But I'm coming here today because, like I said, as you've seen, I went thrifting yesterday. So I wanted to come show you guys what I got. And I went thrifting, like, a couple days ago. So uh, I'm going to just show you everything here. So let's move on. First thing I got from the first thrift store was... Um, Crazy Rich Agents by Kevin Kwan. Um, I was supposed to be reading this with my best friend. We've been saying we were going to read it for like a year now. And we have not picked it both up. We both have not picked it up. So I finally found it at the thrift store for like a dollar. 
Um, I hear so much about it. And yeah. And then I have, this is the second book in this Lion Game series by Sarah Shepard. She is the author of Pretty Little Liar series. This is called Never Have I Ever. Kids. And I keep thinking about this series. Like, it's this one particular scene in this series that I keep thinking about. So I want to, I keep saying that I want to reread PLL and then watch the show. And then I want to reread this series. And I know it's like, I think it's the first season to this show. I have to find it on Freeform. But yeah, the Lion Game series. This follows um, two twins, I think. Mm. Okay, they, okay. So, oh, oh my God, yes. Okay, so it follows a girl named, uh, what is her name? It doesn't say her first name. Oh, Sutton. Okay, it follows a girl named Sutton. Everyone thinks Sutton is dead. So then her t- long-lost twin sister, Emma, takes Sutton's place to solve her mystery. Oh, I'm excited to reread this. Because, yes, that brings back so many memories of me checking out of the library. Anyway, anyway, moving on. Okay, this is all still from the first thrift store. I got this cute... Is this upside down? Yes, yes, it's upside down. I got this cute... Puma hoodie. Cute. Cute. Forest green and gold. Um, then I got this regular, like, yellow. I got this regular yellow hoodie. With, like, gold. What is this? It's not gold. It says white and gray. Little design on the side. Cute. I just, you know, gotta, gotta have your hoodies. And then... Then yesterday, I got some stuff. I got this cute jacket. I could, like, try on stuff, couldn't I? Okay, so I got this little light jacket for the springtime. Burgundy. Yes. And then I got, I just got, like, a regular dollar shirt. It says, make it fun. Cute, cute. I have some shoes that match that. And then, I got, um, I found the first season of Pretty Little Liars. Even though I know this is on streaming services somewhere, I always love to collect DVDs and TV show DVDs. So, I have the first season. If I want the rest of the seasons, I could either stream it or go buy it. But, since I said I wanted to do a Pretty Little Liars reread, I figured, why not? And then I also got the Crazy Rich Asians movie, but my mother decided that she wanted to watch it last night. So, that is everything that I got from the thrift store. Today, I plan to take pictures for a blog tour. Not a blog tour, but like a book feature for Book Sparks. And then I plan to start... The, I plan to start Wing, Witches Sleeping Gold again. Then I'm going to start Lady Midnight because I have not touched that. And I'm going to read... I'm going to start The Nightingale as well, and I'm going to dip into Queen of Shadows. I have not did much reading this week, and it's making me upset. So I'm going to try and squeeze some reading in this today. Because, it's, like I said in earlier clips, the 24-hour readathon is Saturday. So I need to at least read another book or start another book or something. But also... I'm not going to, like, pressure myself a whole bunch to read because it, April has been emotionally taxing. If you have watched the news, three babies have died. Well, a young man and then two babies. We have, I'm, I'm tired, okay? I'm tired, literally tired of society of a police officer think they could just bang bang and then they get nothing happened to them and then we have George George Floyd's verdict and I don't know I just I'm tired that's all I have to say so if I don't read this if I don't read today if I don't read tomorrow if I don't even participate in the 24 hour readathon that's that's okay I'm giving myself leeway to not do a daggone thing but I do want to try to get into reading because like, I feel weird when I don't read, you know? <sighs> so, 
With that being said, I'm gonna go do something and I'll check in later. Good morning. I am tired. I'm sleepy. But I'm also tired because I cannot freaking find the nightingale. I had it yesterday because I was going to start it yesterday, but then I changed my mind and said I'm going to start it today. And I can't, I can't find it. So now I'm just going to pick up Queen of Shadows. I also decided that I am going to read Witches Steeped in Gold next week. And I'm going to, I'm going to try and start Lady Midnight this weekend. Maybe Sunday or maybe during the 24-hour readathon that starts tonight. We'll see. We'll see. But also, like I said yesterday, I'm not going to beat myself up to read. Like, you know, even though I'm not going to read right now. But I, like, need it because my anxiety is, like, is up there. But, yeah. Um, I'm about to curl up. I have some tea. I have some tea. So, I'm going to, um read for a little bit and then clean I'm going to clean am I the only one who takes off the dust jacket when they read our covers because I'm the type of person is going to get annoyed with it so I'm going to read a little bit of Queen of Shadows I'm literally on chapter 5 I don't think I'm going to annotate this I had said when I was rereading the Thorn the Glass here that I was going to annotate every book but too much stuff be happening to try and annotate I I try to annotate sometimes, then I get caught up too much to be like, oh, I gotta stop and underline. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna read, and then I will check in later. trying to kill somebody. Okay, I'm going into my house right now and I just noticed this tree. I have no idea what kind of tree this is, but it's starting to bloom. Look at it. Okay. Hi guys and welcome to the end of this vlog um i was supposed to read queen of shadows all day today i was going to read up to part two but then i said no so i decided to clean my room and well at least clean a little bit of it because it was giving me major anxiety so i've been doing that but mainly just listening to pandora in the background um as i get myself amped up and prepared for the 24-hour readathon 
that is tonight so that will be the next vlog going out i hope you guys enjoyed this one i know i didn't do a lot of reading like i was supposed to but i did enjoy reading the books that i did read which was really just hurricane summer because i <laughs> that book was good i really started a lot of books like which is steeping gold and i started reading queen of shadows and i couldn't find the nightingale and i didn't even touch lady midnight so uh, maybe next week we'll have better reading time or hopefully this 24 hour readathon is better so like i said look out for that next that will be the next vlog going out um so yeah i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like and subscribe and if you stay to the end leave this spring emoji and i will see you guys in the next one bye